Hey, my name is Alex, and I'm gonna show you how to do a ball joint um replace. All right. So first, you start um by removing the tire. Um, Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's on reverse. Move, remove the tire and uh, then um, what you want to do is remove the uh, outer tire rat in cause, uh, so that way you have more uh, space to move this this way and it's not on the way so uh, give it uh, 16 try a nope, little bigger, so try 17. Yep, 17 will work. It's off. Uh, just set that aside. And um, then what you want to do is uh, you're going to get this. Uh, Ball out right here, um, right there. Um, on this car, it's a 19. Just make sure you're going the right way. You can always move this, uh, the knuckle to one side or another to have more space. When you got it loose, maybe you can get it off by hand, it's easier. Alright, so just leave it like that, don't fully take it off because we're going to hit the steering knuckle over right here and uh, you don't want to miss and hit the threads because that can, you can mess up the threads and that wouldn't be good. So just grab a hammer and make sure you hit right here on the knuckle. So you can break it loose. No, I don't think that's loose enough. So keep going until it breaks loose. Ah, uh, yeah, that's loose. Oh, um, so now I'm just fully take the nut off. Then what you want to do next? It's uh, get a pry bar and pry this thing down. That way it, uh, you have more leverage to take it off. So just pry it down and move it to a side. That, uh, all right, so that way, uh, now you need a, you're going to need a ball joint uh, press. And uh, to get the ball joint off, uh, here you well you want up oh, but first before you do that you want to get the boot off and make sure that there's no um, ring on here because if you start getting off start getting off uh, with a ball joint press with uh, before removing the 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 thing on the, the ring around of it you can uh, it would be really hard to get it off and then because uh, it would get stuck on there so yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? Just uh, get a flathead screwdriver and remove the boot. Then see, there's the spring right there. Um, just nut brings on. Mm -hmm. All right, so just um, put this thing on there. Be careful so this doesn't go flying and hits you in the face or something or you lose it. It's very important. So it's there so this thing won't come apart or fall off. 
set it aside. Now, here's where you use the uh, ball joint press. Um, you need something to push this thing down. All right, so you then you need uh, your receiver to receive it. Um, just set this thing on, up on the top like that. And then, you want to make sure that it's straight as possible. That's good. Then, um, Press it out. Twenty two. Yo, when I hear it or see it fell off when it comes off. All right, so here it got it came off. So set this aside. And uh, remove all this. Be careful, does it fall? And there is the ball joint. Um, yeah, so you want to replace these, you want to check it if it has play in or out, or if it's um, really bad. Because uh, if it if has a lot of play, like in and if you can kind of almost take it off in and out, mm -hmm. then it, it's not good. Or if you can move it really easy, then that's not good. You see, this one's really good. Um, yeah, and you want to replace these things because uh, it's really important because this could, uh, if it's not good, come off and uh, you can get in a really bad car accident or stuff like that. These are actually um, not in the New York State um, inspection but uh, but they really should be because these are really important and safe comes first. Alright so once you got this off you wanna clean this hole real good so um, you can spray some um, brake cleaner around it and then um, you can even grab sandpaper and go around it and really clean it. Clean it real good. After you clean it real good, um, just um, clean it with a rag all around it, and then uh, what you want to do is grab some um, loop and put some loop around it. That should be good. Alright, so to put it back on, what, what you're gonna do is uh, just set this here. Make You always want to make sure that this is going nice and straight and it's not going cockeyed or anything. Uh, and just set it on there. And then uh, you're gonna need again this thing and Press up, but now this will be the receiver, and now you need to put this thing on the top, uh, and then use this to press it. So, like I said, the most important thing is that it's going nice and straight. And 
Yeah, so just now, um, start pressing it and check it. It's going nice and straight on it. That should be good. Uh, we'll see it when it gets to the top and it uh, meets with the other part on the top. Then you should be all good. So once you do that, just uh, get this thing off. There it is. It's, it's, it's there, really good. Not gonna go anywhere. So now, um, what you wanna do is insert the ring, snap ring, back on. Um, but what you wanna make sure these the is supposed to go in like a groove on the bottom. Make sure the groove goes all the way around. If uh, if you need, you can even use a screwdriver and kind of push it down and make sure that's um, in all the way in, all the way around. And uh, once you've done that, just put your boot back on and really push the thing. You could also use the your screwdriver and push it down all the way around. Um, once you've done that, uh, so it's all good now. So now you grab um, a pry bar and pry this thing down, and you wanna get it back on the hole. Yeah. Um, so once you get it in there, um, put back your nut on. Um, really wanna make sure that this thing is in. And uh, sometimes uh, these things really go really down, so you might want to push it down a little bit and get uh, start just the nut. And then once you have started it, <clears throat> you can push it back on. So start it by hand. You get it all the way. See, you now you can push it up. Um, get it by hand all the way. Okay. Alright, once you go to by hand as much as you can. Stretch it down. Tighten it real good. You can always move these things to one side or another so you have more space. Should be good. Um, usually on these, there's a castle knot and uh, there's like a hole uh, between the uh, the ball joint. Um, and you usually put a cutter pin, but on this one it doesn't have one, so we'll just leave it like that. But if it does, make sure you put that, cause that that will make sure um, that the knot won't come off. And so it's good. Um, once you've done that, just. Um, <coughs> Now you you need to remember to connect this uh, the outer tie rod end and just push it on there. Uh, get your nut and then uh, and put it back on there. Yeah, just make sure that you connected everything and everything is in the right way it's supposed to go and. Uh, after you have done that, you're pretty much done. Just we'll get our tire back on, and uh, and we'll get our lug nuts. And uh, you, once you put your lug nuts, you always want to do it on a star pattern. So we'll go from that one. Always start them by hand first. And, uh,
hit it with the gun. Uh, after you got them by hand, um, you want to torque it with the torque stick because that way um, it turns it to the right, to the proper spec. Uh, so just make sure it's going uh, the right way. And just keep turning it until it does, stops moving. And you keep doing it on a start pattern. You've done it on a star pattern, just go around one and um, that's it, that's how you replace the ball joint.